Welcome, this is Lynn Albro, Internet Marketing Coach, and this is habit number seven. This is July's habit, the what's, when's, why's, and where's, and sometimes I say wherefores, of content creation. During this training webinar, we will cover what types of content you should be providing, why you should be providing content on a regular basis, when and how often you should create content, where at your website you should be publishing this content, and setting up a marketing calendar and content idea list, and then blocking out time to get it done. First of all, let's talk about the different types of content you can provide. And I think you're going to be surprised at the different ways that you can create content. I most I think when people when you talk about content, people think written content. Oh, I'm going to have to write 600 words. It's like going back to high school. Well, that's not necessarily the case anymore. You can write written content, obviously. I write a lot of written content. You could also do video. So that, say you like to get in front of the camera, or say you like to do what I'm doing here where it's um, the screen is capturing a video it's um, it captures not only what's going on in the screen but also the uh, voice tracks and uh, I have a presentation to follow through with so you could create videos this way or you could actually create videos where the, the camera is pointed at you and you're getting giving people um, a picture of you and how you talk they get a chance to see your personality you could also put up a gallery of pictures or an infographic with descriptions or you could create curate content in other words you could get links to industry news maybe events um, maybe some ideas um, marketing ideas um, ideas of how to sell a property um, it just depends on what business you you are. You can uh, put up put in uh, links to um, articles that are all over the internet. That's curated content, and that is just as good content as written content. I'm going to show you a sample of that. You can also do gener user generated content. I have actually been a guest blogger. It's um, pretty easy to put your content out there and offer to be a guest blogger it's a little harder to find somebody especially in the early stages to to be a guest blogger on your blog so right now I'm going to take and show you some different ideas of uh, content so right here we have a, an example of written content this is an article on YouTube success, uh, tracking your video performance. It's by Michael Miller, and he has written a rather lengthy article um, about how to track your video performance. And um, so, basically, that's a good article. As you can see, it's been recommended 83 times on Facebook. Of course, it's from the Entrepreneur Magazine, so it's not really surprising. It's been tweeted 356 times. It's been shared at LinkedIn 79 times. It's been shared at Google Plus 28 times. Um, also, you have the option of sending it out, sharing it in an email. It doesn't look like it's happened too many times. Let's move on to the next. This is actually what they call an infographic and as you can see it is quite lengthy um, I'm not very good at this kind of artwork but if I were I would be doing this also this infographic is on using social media for lead generation if you choose to go this route you need to remember that the search engines cannot see the picture in that infographic so they can't index content based on that picture so you have to tell the search engines what's in that infographic so you need to put up at least 250 words either behind the info infographic um, in the meta description or above the infographic in your at your um, web page 
Another thing to do, and this is something I do frequently, or once a month I do this for Century 21 m and Real Estate in Northern California. This is a an event. I'm curating events in Northern California that are happening during the month of May. Actually, it's supposed to say July, and I'm actually surprised that it says May, so I need to go back in and fix that. Um, uh, July 5th through the 10th, we've got the Stanford Jazz Festival through August 10th, and I actually copied this information and pasted it in along with a link to the website and a link to the event um, where the event is being held, the starting dates and times, and a phone number. So then I went to the Santa Cruz Boardwalk website and I found that during the month of July we've got four concerts and I named the different artists uh, that are presenting those concerts the Tubes, Blue Oyster Cult, Cracker, Dash Camp Van Beethoven and Berlin um, August 14th through excuse me June 14th through August 30th that's when the um, Santa Cruz Boardwalk is presenting those then there's Weird Al Yankovic at the Alameda County Fair on July 5th. So you can see what I've done is I've gone throughout the internet and I have found events coming up. I've copied and pasted the information, copied the um, picture, and what's important when you're creating is to always share links. Like here's the event website, um, here is the Alameda County Fairgrounds link and um, there's the phone number so you're sharing the information you're not taking credit for curated information this is a um, guest blogger at marketing pilgrim and she has shared a blog on big news Fa facebook finally has a search engine that works and she's written a fairly lengthy blog on that subject and shared a picture. Um, I, Like I said, I have uh, guest blogged a few times. I have also asked people many times uh, when I'm interacting with them at Facebook or at Google Plus if they're interested in guest blogging for me. And every once in a while I get a guest blogger who will actually reach out to me in my emails so there's no reason I mean, essentially all you do is copy and paste when a guest blogger offers to write on at your website it's also a good idea sometimes to team up with someone so that you're not having to put up all of the um, articles at your website this is called video blogging and the person that's doing it is Matt Cutts who's an engineer at um, Facebook no at Google and this um, video is on what to expect in SEO in the coming months and he's written a short um, description of what's in this video top and bottom and he's embedded the video uh, the YouTube allows you to, to grab an embed code and add it to your website page so that the wet, the video looks just like this. Back to my presentation. So there I just showed you some examples of different types of um, content that you can provide. I also made a note down here that you can do a combination of the above. Why should you be providing fresh content on a regular basis? Well, first and foremost, it drives prospects and clients to your website. Back when I started a website oh, in 2007, I had done a little bit of, of work in a forum called work, work From Home, and I was so excited to find that I had 47 visitors to my website. Well, that was the first and only 47 visitors because I didn't go back to the web to the forum and reach out to people and share my information today I 
drive traffic to my website through social networking sites. Um, I uh, am very active on uh, Facebook, Google+, Pinterest, um, LinkedIn, and Twitter. And I try to spend time each day interacting with people on those sites. And I also put up a couple times a day link, links to my content at my website. And it literally drives traffic to my website. I'm also establishing my expertise in building trust with my audience by providing fresh content at my blog. My blog is um, Internet Marketing Tips and I try to get out a blog uh, every couple of days three times a week sometimes I only get around to once a week sometimes I'll only a couple times a week but I try to put out a minimum of one blog a week that can I can use to to put it to invite my prospects and clients to my website at social networking sites I also um, drive traffic by sharing that same content at my newsletter that I send out um, by email. One way to jumpstart a new website is to post every day for a couple months and I've done that on a couple of websites in the last couple of years and it very definitely increases your traffic ranking which is how the search engines decide whether you're going to show up on the first page or not very quickly. So once you set up a website, I really recommend that you post every day or at least five times a week for a couple months. Also, providing pre fresh content uh, keeps your visitors coming back to see what, new, what you've put up new. I think about 40% of my visitors are returning visitors. Um, it's always good to get new visitors and new prospects and new clients, but it's also good to provide fresh content so that your visitors will keep coming back. And probably the most important re reason to provide fresh content on a regular basis is that it's good for search engine optimization. You've seen SEO as the, the short form of search engine optimization and essentially what putting out new content does and then sharing it at your social networking networks is the search engines the spider bots find this new content at your social networking sites and it drives them back to your website to index that content and if you're doing your content based on uh, keywords then the more content the search engines pick up the more keywords they're going to pick up, the more likely they are to drive to to put you on the first page of Google and drive traffic to your website right on the first page of Google, um, Yahoo, or Bing. Those are the top three. How often should you provide fresh content? I'm going to say unequivocally a minimum of one time a week and up. The more often, the better and I just showed you several ways to do that very simply um, and so I mean mix it up try a little bit of each one of them find the ones you get the most comfortable with but a minimum of one time a week some of the experts say a minimum of, of once every three weeks if you do it just once a month it's not enough but in my experience or for driving traffic to my website and search engine optimization one time a week is absolutely minimum to keep to stay high up in the search engines indexing where at your website should you be publishing this fresh fresh content so you've got a website it's got if you're using a, a blog platform which is probably the simplest form of web website is a blog platform like WordPress or Blogspot or there's there's several different free blog platforms available so obviously you can incorporate a blog at your website blogs is short for web blog and basically it is a uh, some people call it a journal um, I'm putting a series of articles up 
on internet marketing tips and in each one of my blogs has one to four or five internet marketing tips included in it you can include a industry news section and just um, curate the industry news and keep all the newest news at the top um, you could uh, set up a page for free training or free education for that certainly establishes your expertise you could include a page on client testimonials again that establishes your expertise and builds trust and you can actually gather those testimonials um, either by asking people to write them for you or um, using LinkedIn or you can um, go to Yelp sometimes people will write a testimony or a review at Yelp Google Plus especially the Google Plus business page great place to get people to write reviews for you you can also include your newsletters you can include tips and ideas another great idea one that I'm not using right now is frequently asked questions so you could include a page on um, frequently asked questions FAQ um, and that's real simple because you can take your top 10 questions that people ask you every day just write out the questions and then write out a paragraph of answer one of the things I didn't include in here is um, like a dictionary of words that uh, are commonly used in your industry but not used in everyday life um, and the final thing is to include things to do it set up a page of things to do in your geographical area you could also do that on blogs but you can set up just an individual page now what I'm going to do is show you my website and the different things that I different pages that I have set up um, here is an about Lynn Albro page short and simple a couple paragraphs keep it short uh, here is the 2013 um, challenge with uh, 12 habits and every time I finish one of these re uh, training webinars I um, convert the recording into a YouTube video and then I embed those training videos into this page so right now as of today I've got six up as of the next week I'll add today's habit number seven and uh, I will have seven videos up for that page I also have a series of video training for Facebook I haven't looked at them lately I probably need to update them Facebook changes so quickly and so does Google Plus that on a regular basis you gotta update update those training videos but you can see I have a series of training videos here on that these are just pages at my website um, many of you may have come to this page while, get, while you were um, signing up for this uh, training and um, this is talking about the habit number seven that we are covering right now and then below it you can see habits 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 that I'm going to cover um, between now and the end of the year. You can also subscribe on the subscribe page or you can subscribe actually I have a, uh, a pop-up that usually shows up to subscribe at. Um, then there's 365 internet marketing tips that I am pulling out of the content that is already at my website starting with January 1st the first article is there along with the first two internet marketing tips so any of these internet marketing tips if you want to go to the article you'll find the tips and with a description of the tips so that would be a tips and ideas and um, I also add, have a page that I add all my newsletters I archived my newsletters yesterday I archived a new one lessons learned from rescuing kittens and um, you might find it interesting if you want to go to lynnalbro.com and then I have a link back to the blog which is actually the default page that you show up at when you come to my blog and there it is so a blog is like I said simply uh, uh, some a page where you write about a subject 
or you use a video about a subject or you um, do a that would be a video blog or you can do a pictorial blog or you can do a curating blog where you're um, using other people's content um, here are my blog categories so that if you wanted to find a, a blog on keyword research you just click on keyword research and it will show you all the blogs that I have written specifically about keyword research so let's go back and get a pretty good idea of where you should publish that content and finally or not finally there's a couple more things that you need to be doing one is is blocking out time on your calendar every week to work on to create content for your website and I just put up a couple days 9 through 4 9 a.m. To, through 4 p.m. and showed you how I would block it out I use a regular um, calendar that has a week on two pages Monday through Sunday and um, I block out times for my um, blogs or from my website articles I don't always get to them but I block times out for them and then if I don't get to them one day I try to get to them the next day and then the next thing that you should do or at the same time you should be keeping a file in Word or in um, like Drive of articles that you want to write about um, sometimes when I sit down I have writer's block and I don't know what to write about so I've got this file this is just a sample of some of the um, work the the newsletters that I plan on uh, writing over the period of the next few months um, I have this in a drive.google.com file but it could also be in a word file but I recommend that you just start that file so you don't run out of ideas. Another thing to do would be just to go to your Google page and type in, I'm going to use real estate for example, blog ideas and you should here's 101 topic ideas for your real estate blog from Inman News which is a very big um, news agency related to real estate so as you scroll down you can see there are all kinds 101 uh, ideas for writing articles so you could copy all this and paste that into your word uh, file or your drive file but there's a hundred and one ideas and there's only 52 weeks in a year and if you're doing uh, one blog a week that's two years worth of ideas so moving on to takeaways I want you to understand really understand that it does not matter if you are a writer or not you can create content you can share other people's content curating it that's c-u-r-a-t-e not creating c-r-e-a-t you can curate content you can create videos you can curate other people's videos you can put up a gallery of pictures the point is just do it. I don't care how you do it, just do it. Um, or do a combination of the above. Use all of those ideas. And then finally, um, schedule time on your calendar to get it done at least once a week. Thank you for taking time to uh, listen to my listen and view this training webinar and looking forward to see you at habit number eight.